She's shown so much quality over the years, but has been unable to put it together on the biggest stage. She does it right now, and she does it in the most emphatic fashion. She does it, in fact, in record fashion. 12.93. The time that's coming up there on the display board. Two one hundredths of a second faster than the 12.95 she delivered at the trials. She goes sub-13 again for a second time. Brianna Campbell with a personal best as well. Assuming all of this is win legal, by the way, 13.11 for Campbell to take the silver. The Jamaicans get 1-2. And I told you, Swindell had a great shot at a medal. 13.95. The U.S. Virgin Islands athlete captures the bronze. Michelle Smith won a silver medal in this event at the under-17 level two years ago. And now the USVI have another medalist. Here's another look at it. Just great execution there, moving between those hurdles and uh, she just pulls away, both Jamaicans really pulling away from the competition. But uh, certainly Harris having the better of the two. Clean, crisp, wind 2.4. 2.4 meters per second, the wind speed we're hearing, so that would mean that it is not a record if it is not wind legal. But Habiba Harris has put a fabulous race together, and you can see there the wind pushing the athletes forward, which is exactly what it would have been doing during the race. As the world champion of 2009, Bridget Foster Hilton, will tell you doesn't always help the athletes in the hurdles when you have all that wind behind you because it means that you get to the barriers too quickly and it's not always easy to negotiate so positive 2.4 meters per second the wind speed harris 12 93 she is the champion won't get the record because it's over the legal limit of 2.0 brianna campbell gets silver at 13.11 and Sophia Swindell of the U.S. Virgin Islands takes bronze at 13.95. The medalists all under 14 seconds. Nia Richards of the Bahamas in fourth at 14.06. Ahead of Abati of Martinique, Augustine of Grenada, and of course, Paul of Trinidad and Tobago did not start. Brilliant start to the... Herders final for under 17 boys. The athletes making their way out. That's Robert Miller, the 400 hurdles champion and record holder. The Ketishan, also in the lineup, Akani Samuel Francis, a 400 hurdles silver medalist, having won that title a year ago in the Bahamas. Running significantly faster this year, though, for that silver medal was a terrific performance in a fine, fine race. The athletes making their way out for this one. No qualifying races on the boys' side in sprint hurdles. Had qualifying races in the under-17 girls, the under-20 girls, straight final. And now the U-17 boys, a straight final as well. This one. The Jamaican Kaim Carbe delivering that in the Bahamas last year. Dwyer, also of Jamaica, will be a serious threat to that record. Has run a wind assisted 13.85, Michael Dwyer, positive 2.4. On that, here's the full lineup. Akane Samuel Francis of St. Kitts and Nevis in one. Amari Brown, Trinidad and Tobago two. Jacaria Wilson, Bahamas in three. Michael Dwyer, Jamaica in four. Tariq Vincent, Trinidad and Tobago in five. Robert Miller of Jamaica in six. Tejon Webb of St. Kitts and Nevis in seven. And Seren Besson of French Guiana in lane eight. Big moment for these four 100 hurdles champion and record holder goes in six web of st kitts and nevis seven and vasson of french guiana in lane eight off they go samuel francis rolls quickly vincent is down 
the Jamaican Michael Dwyer is going well. Dwyer has the lead chased by the Bohemian Wilson. Dwyer and Wilson. Dwyer gets there to win the gold medal. 13.79 on the clock downstairs. Michael Dwyer of Jamaica ahead of Jakaria Wilson of the Bahamas. And I think the 400 hurdles champion Robert Miller, the second Jamaican in the field, got up to take bronze. Confirmation, 13.81 for Michael Dwyer. And the Jamaicans go back to back to back in the hurdles. That's three from three. Wilson, 13.94 to take the silver for the Bahamas. That's a PB for him, of course, if it's with Eagle. And Robert Miller, fabulous performance in the 400 hurdles. 1.8 the wind we're getting. 13.97 for him, so personal best performances for the top three. Fine race. This man pushed Dwyer all the way. At one stage, seemed as if he might steal the gold medal. But Michael Dwyer, very strong in the closing stages, holding his composure in the key moments of this race. Here's another look at it. Terrific start. Vincent goes down. Dwyer clipping a couple of hurdles midway the race, but holding it together as the Bohemian challenged on his inside. Robert Miller finishing very well, the four hurdles champion. And once again, he gets the better of the Ketishan. Akane Samuel Francis, who is just outside the medals in the wanted hurdles. He finishes in fourth. Here's confirmation. Positive 1.8 meters per second. Dwyer 13.81. Wilson of the Bahamas 13.94. Miller of Jamaica 13.97.23. Set by Willem Belosian. Went on to represent France, of course. 2014, he set that record. And uh, let's see what we'll get. Here's the full lineup. Kyle Ned of Grenada, Robert Stewart, Bahamas, Shaquille Gordon, Jamaica, Jimmy Marcera of Bonaire, Taj Brown, Bahamas, Daniel Beckford, Jamaica, Lizeng Wang of Curacao, and Andy Mertasico of French Guiana. Big moment for a few of these athletes. Daniel Beckford of Jamaica, maybe the most accomplished in the field. As we have a look at Shaquane Gordon, the second Jamaican, gives the thumbs up. The Commonwealth Youth Games champion in Trinidad and Tobago last year. Won a Carifta Under-17 title two years ago in Kingston as well. But his countryman walking back to his blocks now. Daniel Beckford, 13.44 at his best. Okay. Beckford, Pan American on the 20 silver medalist last year. There is Carl Ned on Grenada. He's in lane number one. The athletes sent to their marks. And you can see some of those tunics are fluttering in the breeze still. Wind fluctuating here at the Karani James Stadium. of the wanted meter hurdles for under 20 boys. Net of Grenada, Stuart Bahamas, Gordon Jamaica, Sarah, Set. Bonier, Brown, Beckford, Brown, and Mertesico. Away they go. Shaquille Gordon of Jamaica gone up well. He's in front. Daniel Beckford, his teammate, has a lot of work to do. Shaquille Gordon has stolen a march and is trying to hold up Beckford. He does. Smashing performance, 13.12. After the massive disappointment of last year when he won bronze across the line, was retroactively disqualified for a false start. He heard about it on the plane to Kingston. There shall be no retroactive disqualification this time around. He strikes gold in a fabulously fast time. 13.15.
if it is win legal, that will be a new Corrupta Games record. Daniel Beckford ran brilliantly, the Jamaican high school champion who beat Gordon only a week ago. But today, he was second best. What a terrific run. Two years ago, we saw Matthew Sophia winning the gold in this event for Curacao. Today, Juan bringing another medal back to Curacao. Leashing Zhuang. Massive performance from him going sub 14 as well, 13.94. A lot was happening behind the two Jamaicans, but this man came to the fore. Massive moment. It's very windy out there, so I await confirmation of the wind speed before I call this record. Here's another look at it. Gordon, it was the start that did it. Once he hit the start, he gets a march on Beckford and Beckford has to chase him and he doesn't have the room. Beckford Pan American under 20 silver medalist last summer. Corrupta under 20 silver medalist in the spring of 2024. How dare you doubt me? And we and he anxiously await the wind reading. Yeah, it's positive 2.1 meters per second, so it will not count as a championship record. Here we go. 13.15 for Shaquem Gordon. 13.25 for Daniel Beckford. Lee Zen Wang. 1394 for Curacao, Tash Brown. And Robert Stewart, the Bahamians, 14.08 and 14.23. Masira, 14.68 for Bonaire. Ratasico. 1524 French Guiana and Ned had a lot of problems. 1525 for Grenada. The champion is with Gerard Morisili. On the 17 girls, 800 meters. The athletes in position and getting ready for battle. The record, 2 minutes 09.59, set in 2006 by Natoya Gould. Here's the full lineup Shanicia Bryant of Barbados, Akila Butcher of Guyana. Jade Knowles of Bahamas, Annalisa Brown of Grenada, Adike Reynolds, Jamaica, the defending champion, Shine Lewis of Trinidad and Tobago, the 1500 bronze medalist, Kevin Gay, founder of Jamaica, and Deshanel Thomas of St. Kitts and Nevis. Brian Barbados, a bronze medalist last year. There is 360, Kevin Gay, founder of Jamaica. Goes in lane number seven. There is Deshanel Thomas of St. Kitts and Nevis in lane number eight. Third over 400 meters in the Bahamas last year. Fourth in the 400 meters here in Grenada. She wants to snatch her surprise bronze. Has gone 219.52. That was in qualifying, a personal best for her. Chanel Thomas the Jamaicans once again fastest Adike Reynolds and Kevin Gay Fowler Grenada's Annalisa Brown 219-11 a personal best to get into this final she wants to continue to improve and give the fans something to cheer about well something more because they've had a lot Lady! Alike Reynolds finished second in the 1500 meters here. And you get the feeling she'll be more determined, even more determined, to defend her 800 title. But in Kevin Gay Fowler, she'll have a worthy competitor, her countrywoman. They have battled all season for separate schools right across the development meets in the land of wood and water. Fowler for Edwin Allen High School. Alike Reynolds for the Megan Wilson Copeland coached Alphansa Davis, formerly Spalding High School. They have produced quality 800, 1500 runners over the years. In fact, for the last 10 years, it's rare when they don't have a member on the Jamaica Carifta team. 
That's the school that Simoya Campbell went to, went on to a World University Games silver medal for Jamaica, some two-minute performer. Reynolds and Fowler will have seen quite a bit of one another this season. Let's see how they go in this final. Alike Reynolds, I've seen her a lot this season. She loves to have a look at what Kevin Gay Fowler is about before she makes her move. Uh, let's see how this one unfolds. Alkila Blutcher of Guyana. Deschanel Thomas of St. Kitts and Nevis going out well to join Alike Reynolds who goes to the front. It's not always that she likes the front run, Alike Reynolds, but she takes up that position here with Deschanel Thomas in second. The Barbadian, a bronze medalist last year. Shanicia Bryant sits in third position with the second Jamaican, Kevin Gay Fowler stepping forward, the field tightly bunched. Usually suggests that it's not a really quick pace. As Anike Reynolds, the defending champion, has a look up at the big screen to see what's happening behind her. They hear the bell. The Grenadian storms to the front with the cheers of the crowd she responds does Annalisa Brown Annalisa Brown of Grenada with the advantage Anike Reynolds of Jamaica in second position Kevin Gay Fowler also of Jamaica in third the Bahamian trying to come forward Jade Knowles down the back straight away they go still the Grenadian with the advantage Annalisa Brown Anike Reynolds, the defending champion, comes right up to her right shoulder and goes by her. Kevin Gay Falder holds third. The Grenadian responds once again and goes for a kick. She's trying to steal a march on the field. Annalisa Braun of Grenada has gone clear in the final. Anike Reynolds, the Jamaican, tries to respond. Oh, this will be quite a turn up. Kevin Gay Falder goes in pursuit as well. Annalisa Braun of Grenada leads the 800 final for under 17 girls. Reynolds, the defending champion, is in front now. And her teammate Fowler comes after her. It's going to be a 1-2 for Jamaica. Fowler has it. Anike Reynolds beaten at 1,500 meters. And now she surrenders her 800 title on the line. The Grenadians celebrate a marvelous bronze medal. Terrific run by Annalisa Brown to get third. The Jamaicans were surprised. I think the entire stadium was surprised, but most were delighted. 216-67, Kevin Gay Fowler delivers in a big race. We can't often say that. We can't always say that. But that was a fine win. Alike Reynolds, I think, will be slightly disappointed to lose her title. Shocked by the move made by the Grenadian. Comes through in silver at 217.02. And Annalisa Brown has the bronze medal, and she will have a personal best to go with that. Brave moves made by the Grenadian, and she gets a well earned bronze. We spoke earlier this weekend about that tactic of trying to go front running, and the key thing is that you have to be able to hold your composure. I don't know that she would have been able to win the race necessarily, but certainly that she was all too aware of what was transpiring at her back and kept looking around to see what was going on as opposed to just running her race and trying to get the best possible result for her. 27 for Fowler, 217-02 for Reynolds, 1-2 for Jamaica. Annalisa Brown, 218-75 gets the bronze for Grenada. Sharon Lewis, the 1500 bronze medalist, is fourth here for Trinidad and Tobago, 221-36. Alkila Blucher of Guyana in fifth at 224-29. The field rounded out by Thomas of St. Kitts and Nevis. Knows of them. There's the lineup. Jalen St. Louis of Grenada. Carlos Bryson Keynes of St. Martin. Keandre Kelly, Jamaica. Kaidan Prasad, Guyana. Alejandro Palmer, Jamaica. Adriel Mitchell, Grenada. Robertson, Valeria, Curacao, and Brian Scott of Trinidad and Tobago. Is this another massive moment for Guyana? Caden Prasad is a talent, but this is a field with depth. Step back. Yeah. And they have been brought back to the standing position. On your mats. Yeah. 
Off they go. For Sound of Guyana was the only one under two minutes in qualifying. He's a 155-67 performer. Did that at the Guyana Carifta trials in early March. Has the build for the event. Tall, silky smooth. He's a delight to watch in this 800 meters. But it's the Jamaican who goes to the front, Keandre Kelly. He's the fastest in the field on personal best, Kelly, at 154.83. Brian Scott of Trinidad and Tobago steps into focus as well. He's in second position. Prasad is in third. And there are two Grenadians in the field, two Jamaicans as well, with Alejandro Palmer coming forward on the wide outside. And Kelly, the Jamaican, leading with Prasad, dangerously poised, popped in on the inside. Has to be careful, Prasad, because he wants running room. And uh, sometimes you can't get a lot of that when you're topped in on the inside. And that's where he is. And look at him having to just ease back to allow others to go forward as he tries to get running room and maybe may have to come on the outside. But it's the Jamaicans one and two at the moment. DeAndre Kelly leading Alejandro Palmer. Also in there as well, in the top four for Grenada. Adriel Mitchell, so it's Palmer of Jamaica in second position, Kelly of Jamaica in front, here comes Prasad now of Guyana, he's making a big move on the outside, the Guyanese turns to the front, Kelly responds, Alejandro Palmer trying to go with them, the Grenadian, Adriel Mitchell trying to snatch a medal, it is Kelly of Jamaica, Prasad of Guyana. This is a terrific finish. DeAndre Kelly holds off Prasad and strikes on a 17-800 goal. It's very tight on the line for bronze. Mitchell might have pipped the Jamaican Alejandro Palmer. We'll have to wait on confirmation. But there is no doubt that the winner is this young man, DeAndre Kelly. 156-31. He did brilliantly to hold off the surge from Kaidan Prasad of Guyana. What a race. Yeah, Palmer just letting up at the end there and uh, sort of sauntering over the line and giving the Grenadian room to run. We're yet to see whether he was able. Palmer did in fact get the bronze, 158.05. Mitchell of Grenada, 158.10 in fourth. The Jamaicans swept the sprint hurdles and now they are two from two in the 800s. DeAndre Kelly, this was always going to be a stern test. They'll have more stern tests. Kelly handled this one with great professionalism. Here's another look at it. The Guyanese making his move here, Kaidan Prasad. Kelly responds to the challenge and together they fight down the home stretch. Kelly always held the advantage. Prasad made one final push here again. Kelly holding his form though, strong, composed, believing in his abilities and pouring to the line to win the Under-17 Boys 800 title. Fantastic race. Prasad giving it his all. And as we've said throughout this broadcast, uh, Guyana poised to host the Carifta Games two years hence, so all things being equal. Their program certainly growing in strength and we should see more youngsters coming through that program. Kelly, 156.31, Basard, 156.53 and Palmer, 158.05. Well, they were the three fastest coming into the event and they have delivered Mitchell, 158.10 to finish fourth for Grenada. Scott Bryson, Valerius and St. Louis rounding out the field. Trinidad and Tobago, St. Martin, Curacao and Grenada. Wow, if you think that was hot, wait until you see what we have next in store. The under 20 girls, 800 final. Their way out, that was Atoya Harvey of Guyana. Got the word this morning that Leila Haynes out of Barbados, last year silver medalist, may not compete here because of illness. There is Michelle Smith, already a 400 hurdles champion. She's not lost at either 400 hurdles or 800 meters in her Carifta Games career. She is now five titles unbeaten across those events, the 400 hurdles 
and the 800 meters at both the under 20 and under 17 levels. Two Jamaicans in this lineup Kitania Headley and Monique Stewart. Both of them really fast. There is Hates Gurrier, who is the fastest in the field. So much more to talk about that. Let's get to Gerard Marcelli first, though. Keandre Kelly, the winner of the boys, under 17, 800 meter. Keandre, just tell me about your race and how did you execute it? Um, you know, uh, I uh, went out hard at the start, you know, slowed back down at like, I'll say like, uh, around, uh, around the 600, kind of eased back and then started kicking out the 150. Um, was it a race well executed in your books? Yeah, I had it well planned. And you, you must be happy about winning the gold medal. Yeah. yeah. Very humble, though. Very humble. All right. Congratulations to you. Thank you. Yeah. Back to you, Terry Ricardo. We have the overseas base, DeAndre Kelly leading Jamaica to victory. Taking the under 17 boys 800 final. Now, time for the under 20 800 meters final for girls. Record again held by Natoya Gould of Jamaica. This one was set in 2008, 2 minutes 0, 5.90. She was a sight to behold at the Carifta Games. Natoya Gould, still a sight to behold on the global stage. There's the lineup. Akari Roberts of Bahamas, Kaylee Ford, 1500 bronze medalist here. She from Trinidad and Tobago. Atoya Harvey has already won a 3000 bronze. She's from Guyana. Monique Stewart, Jamaica. Michelle Smith, the defending champion, US Virgin Islands. Victoria Gurrier, last year's bronze medalist for Haiti. Kitania Headley of Jamaica. And Leila Haynes of Barbados, I don't think, has turned up for this final. What a final this is going to be. Guerrier, 15th fastest in the world under 20 this year can she upstage michelle smith already a 400 hurdles winner michelle smith she won the under 17 800 and 400 hurdles in kingston 2022 she won that double in her first year as an under 20 last year in the bahamas and she's already won the 400 hurdles here five gold medals across three editions of the carifta games across the 400 hurdles and the 800 meters she is trying to make it a pick six right here. But this, I think, will be her toughest test yet. There is Gurrier of Haiti, a 206.56 performer. The Jamaicans are fast as well. 208.86, Monique Stewart, 208.99, Kitania Headley. There is Headley. She starts in lane number seven. Then in six, Gurrier, bronze medalist last year. To a 656 performer. Focused. This Yale student. Michelle Smith, one of the most talented athletes we have seen at the Carifta Games in the last three seasons. Already a 400 hurdles champion. She's the USVI national under 20 record holder at 207.95. Monique Stewart of Jamaica has run as fast as 208.86. She's in lane number four. Atoya Harvey. Five times a Carifta medalist, including a 1,500 bronze at the under-17 level, made that 800 bronze at the under-17 level in 2022. And here is Kaylee Ford, 1,500 bronze here a couple of nights ago. She won a 1,500 silver at the under-17 level two years ago as well, and Akari Roberts of the Bahamas, 214.66 PB, 214.75 to get into this fine final. Unfortunately, no Leila Haynes of Barbados, last year's silver medalist, ill. And out of the final. Off they go. This one promises to be breathtaking. Michelle Smith starts her quest for a sixth individual gold medal at the Carifta Games. Monique Stewart of Jamaica looked brilliant in qualifying. Smith didn't chase her in qualifying though because she was trying to conserve for the 400 hurdles final that she eventually won in 56.28 seconds. Kitania Headley of Jamaica in front, Monique Stewart right behind her. Gurrier, last year's bronze medalist from Haiti, sitting comfortably in third. Michelle Smith, the defending champion, is in fourth position. Atoya Harvey of Guyana, just a little bit off this leading pack. She's in fifth position. 
Kaylee Ford wants a piece of the party. She steps forward. The Jamaicans have gone to the front and they have slowed the pace a little bit. And they have behind them real quality though. And this one is setting up to be a fine final. First 400, pretty brisk. Just about 102 and a half for the first lap. That sets up a pretty quick race here. Michelle Smith is still well poised for the US Virgin Islands. She's forced to go wide on the outside. Stuart of Jamaica, she's on the inside. Represents Edwin Allen back in the land of wood and water. Kitania Headley, St. Catherine High School, the school that the St. Lucian star Julian Alfred went to. And on the outside, this USVI star is coming forward. National under 20 record holder for her country. Already a 400 hurdles champion here. She makes her move. This is the star of the show. I don't think anyone is going to get back to her here. Michelle Smith is starting a march on the field. Courier of Haiti is in second position. Monique Stewart of Jamaica in third with Headley back in fourth. Down the home stretch they come. Michelle Smith in front. Can Courier challenge her? I don't think she can. Smith is going further away. This is a terrific performance. The record is on the threat. Michelle Smith of the US Virgin Islands just misses it. For the second time at these games, she is so close, yet so far. What a tremendous performance. That is six gold medals in three years at the Carifta Games. Two minutes, zero, 6.18. Natoya Gould's outstanding mark of 205.90 is still intact. Well, Monique Stewart ran a superb race, but no one, no one in this field could hang with this outstanding talent. She's one of the best you'll see at the Carifta Games in 2024. The record lives for one more year at least on to Trinidad and Tobago 2026. She will be back. All things being equal, Michelle Smith, the Victoria Guerrier, fine silver medal. 207.45, not a personal best, but even if she'd gone personal best territory, she still would have been second best. And Monique Stewart, she gets a personal best, but it's only good enough for the bronze medal. Terrific run from her, though. That race was everything that we thought it could be, that we thought it would be. And the performance from Michelle Smith, worthy of being in the conversation for the Austin Seeley Award, even without the records. Certainly a fine final and a fine performance from uh, that outstanding young lady from the U.S. of Virgin Islands. Of course, uh, trains in the USA will be heading to the University of Georgia later this year. And you see her just uh, taking the sting out of uh, the three athletes chasing her. Forced to go around on the top of the bend, and uh, that perhaps cost her that extra half a second that she would have needed to break the record, Ricardo Chambers. With about 20 meters to go, I thought she had the record to finish here. Just missed it. Courier holding off the Jamaican Monique Stewart. She's been a delight to watch in the last three years at the Carifta Games. And remember, she also has a silver medal in the under-17 100 hurdles. Seems as if she's given that up. She's run 53 seconds for 400 flat this year. 206.18 for Michelle Smith. 207.45 for Gurrier. 207.56 for Stuart Headley in fourth at 211.86. Gerard Morissini has the champion. Six-time record. 148.95 Kenroy Levy of Jamaica 1987 don't think that will be tested here but it's a very competitive field Javon Roberts last year's under 17 champion Guyana D'Angelo Brown Grenada Yashane Bowen of Jamaica Kiran Srish Kanjaraja silver medalist at under 17 800 two years ago Kemario Bygrave the 1500 champion here Jaffa Woodley of Trinidad and Tobago, Brandon Hines of Barbados, and Zion Miller of the Bahamas. Fantastic field. Unfortunate that we don't have Nathan Cumberbatch, who is eligible to return to the Carifta ranks this year. He's uh, on university duty at USC. He's been running really quickly. We'd have had a truly superb race, but I think we can still have a great race there with Bygrave, Shishkandaraja, 
looking to do battle. Combat Batch brilliant indoors with Trinidad and Tobago records as we go through the field. Zion Miller of the Bahamas is in eight, 155, 6 to 6 to get into this final. Had to run pretty fast to get in here. Brandon Hines of Barbados qualified at 155.05. He looks like he means business. Jaffa Woodley of Trinidad and Tobago looked good in qualifying. Second fastest at 154.92. There's the 1500 champion, Camario Bygrave. This is his preferred event, though. He starts in lane five. Kiran Srichkanjaraja based in the UK. 1500 on the 17 champion two years ago. Silver behind the Jamaican Ains de Brown at 800 meters. Here's his chance. Could have made the Trinidad and Tobago team at the U20s last year. Yashane Bowen of Jamaica. Run four by four for his team qualifying this morning. D'Angelo Brown of Grenada. They have been running inspired, the Grenadians. And on the inside, Javon Roberts of Guyana, last year's on the 17, 800 champion. Three times a Carifta medalist, Roberts. As a two 1500 silver medals at the on the 17 level. Bygrave on paper, the class of the field, 151.10 this year. Stand, step back. Off they go. 800 final for under 20 boys. Let's see how this one will unfold. So competitive this lineup. So many fine storylines. As Trinidad and Tobago's Jaco Woodley goes to the front, Camario Bygrave sits right in behind him. Interesting to see Bowen sticking around at the back of the pack. He along can. with Jishkandaraja. Yeah, Bowen can run the race in many different ways. He does this quite a lot. Stay at the back. He can run from the front. The Carifta trials in Kingston. He came from about 50 meters back to snatch second on the line. Kamaria Bygrave leads though. Second position. Woodley of Trinidad and Tobago. Up those steps of Jishkandaraja. The Grenadian in the mix as well. D'Angelo Brown wants a medal. By Grave punches hard down the back stretch. Trips Kanjaraja alert to the danger, steps forward. Brown of Grenada still in the mix. So too is Woodley of Trinidad and Jamaica. By Grave looking for the 800 1500 double. Trips Kanjaraja goes after him. Into the straightaway they come. Kemaria Bygrave still has the advantage. Has a glance behind him, the Jamaican. Trips Kanjaraja kicks in. Brown of Grenada is holding bronze. Trinidad and Jamaica's Woodley fighting. Kemaria Bygrave will win the double. And he'll do it in sensational fashion. It's going to be close for Silver. Brown gets it for Grenada. Trips Kanjaraja settles for bronze. It's a spicy afternoon in St. Lucia. Kemaria Bygrave wins gold, but the crowd goes wild for D'Angelo Brown, who gets a fabulous silver. 151-43. He'd never won a Carifta medal before 2024. Now he has double gold. Oh, what a performance from this man. 152-81. He smashes his personal best. Wow, what a race, what a race. Trish Kanjaraja settles for bronze. 152.91, nothing to be ashamed of. That was terrific running. Those two young men producing the fifth fastest 800 meter run in the CAC region for 2024. Bygrave, though, still a little shy of his best, but 
taking the race by the scruff of his neck. Daring his rivals to respond. Shishkandaraja tries. Brown coming through as well. Shishkandaraja unequal to the task. Pygrave is striding powerfully to the front across the line. 151. 39. His high school coach, Dwayne Johnson, has made the trip to Grenada to see several of his boys compete. Compete had Shamar Green with the under 17, 1500 meters, and now Pygrave snatches the double. Oh, it's a grand party. 151 43 for Kamario Pygrave. He's the champion, the double champion. D'Angelo Brown of Grenada with the run of his life. 152-51 to take silver. Kieran Trishkantaraja of Trinidad and Tobago passed the set of a bronze this time at 152-91. Jaffa Woodley gave it all he had. 153-63 for fourth. Brandon Hines of Barbados fifth. 155-53. Zion Miller of Bahamas sixth. 155-77. 202-68 for Bowen of Jamaica. And Roberts of Diana did not finish. Gerard Morrisili. I'm surprised he isn't in the middle of the party, but he's managing to... Has had a very busy weekend. Sashana Johnson, Jamaica, good at 400 meters, was in the long jump. And here she is in the 200 final at Carifta, won the 400 gold medal, the honor 15 girls category at the Jamaican high school champs. Egypt Benjamin of Grenada rounding out the field, 25-13 to get here. Big moment for her to compete in a final in front of her home crowd final of the under 17 girls 200 meters Hinkson in six East in seven Nabi the Bahamas won this title last year ahead of the St. Lucian Naomi London none of those girls here in 2024 they would have moved up to the under 20 category in any case Latrice East the bronze medalist in Nassau returns here for her shot at Carifta under 17 glory only athlete under 24 seconds in qualifying 23 91 but she did have a positive wind in comparison to Hinkson who ran into a negative wind and clocked 24 05 this is going to be a fine final. Set. Off they go. Really quick cut. Hickson got up brilliantly. Takes a few meters out of the Jamaican in the first 70. Into the straightaway they come. Hickson with the advantage. Johnson of Jamaica running well on the inside. East trying to find something extra. Hickson has the lead. Here comes the trees. East. East strikes goal. The Antiguan comes through into third. Tyra Fenton with a terrific run. Double bronze medal for her. But the trees East puts, put, puts right the wrongs of Nassau. She found it in the last 20 and wins in 23-74. That race was every bit what we expected it to be as the 100 champion, Athalia Hinkson, has to settle for 200 silver, 23-85. Tyra Fenton, quite impressive there, coming through for the bronze medal, only 14 years old, 23.97 her time. Patrice East, of course, the class of the competition, winning that gold and uh, taking the silver to go with her gold medal in the 100. The Guyanese, Athalia Hinkson. The decision to forego the 100 meters and focus on the 200 meters paying off for Patrice East. What a terrific curve from the Guyanese. Athalia Hinkson, the 100 champion, that was expected. The best part of this race for East is the last 50. Tyra Fenton ran a terrific curve, so too did the Jamaican Sashana Johnson. 
but here East comes forward and Hinkson can't hold her off with Fenton finishing in third position. You know, in many ways, this Antiguan reminds me of the Jamaican quarter miler Lorraine Graham Fenton, who won an Olympic silver medal over 400 meters and won world medals as well in that event. Powerful young lady, well built. But there's your champion, Natrice East. 23.74, positive 0 0.9 meters per second, the wind speed. Hinkson, 23.85, Tyra Fenton of Antigua and Barbuda, 23.97. Kiesra Thomas, fourth in the high jump, fourth in the 200 meters as well, 24.12. Let's head to Gerard Morisili. Yeah, and I have Natrice East with me, Natrice, the decision to fork final. This is going to be a good one as well. And the Grenadians are very much interested in this. They have the 400 silver medalist Cameron Matlin. Exciting young talent from the Isle of Spice. DeAndre Fritt of the British Virgin Islands was in the 100 final. 20.84 is the record set 2010 by Odin Skeen of Jamaica. That outstanding sprinter who went on to Youth Olympic gold in 2010 as well at 100 meters. That's the full lineup. Zion Sambo of Curacao, Skyla Charles, Guyana, Shane Jervis, Jamaica, Miles Alterbridge, Bermuda, Cameron Mathlin, Grenada, Tiandre Fritt, British Virgin Islands, Kadim Chenapu, Trinidad and Tobago, Byron Walker, Jamaica. Let's go through the field for you. There's Chenapu. He's in lane number seven, fastest in qualifying at 21.68. Then in lane six, Tiandre Fritt was in the 100 final, finished sixth. He returns for the 200 final. Desperate for a medal here, the British Virgin Islander. In five, the crowd will love this one. They'll cheer him all the way around this half lap event. Cameron, Cameron Mathlin. Second, over 400 meters behind a record run from the Jamaican, Nicoy Bramwell. Miles Alterbridge looked really good in qualifying for Bermuda, 22.37 to get here. Can he produce another impressive performance? The Jamaican Crypto Trials winner, Oshane Jervis, was the second fastest in qualifying, 21.78 behind Chenapu. He'll feel confident he can medal here too. Skylar Charles Grenada goes in lane number two. And on the very inside in lane number one, Charles of Guyana. And on the very inside in lane number one, Zion Sambo, fourth in the 100 final, didn't look as good in 200 qualifying. The best part of his race looks to be the first 60 or 70. Yeah, exciting young talent is uh, Sambo. Getting the better of his uh, Curacao teammate, uh, Devint. Final of the under 17 boys, 200 meters. Kadim Chenapu told me that he felt in the shape to run 10 4 for 100 meters. Got the silver medal there behind the Jamaican Nyron Wade. This is a marvelous opportunity to win gold. He's in seven. There's Byron Walker, Jamaica, in eight. Ran a personal best in qualifying. Set. Off they go. 200 final under 17 boys. Mathlin of Grenada got away well. Chinapu is well into his running as well. So to his service of Jamaica. Sambo of Curacao on the very inside. Sambo of Curacao has the lead. Chinapu is coming forward. So to his service of Jamaica. Chinapu on the outside. Strikes Garif the goal. Fred, I think, got silver ahead of Shane Jervis, who looks hurt, the Jamaican. But Chinapu, the 100 silver medalist, has taken the 200 in emphatic fashion. He blew the field away over the last 20 or 30. Clocks 21.78 and celebrates in front of the Trinidad and Tobago fans who have been hearing numbers from day number one. Agony for the bronze medalist. Oh no, he's the silver medalist, Oshane Jervis. Somehow, he held on to second, somehow because he was feeling pain from about 15 meters out. Well, he looked best in qualifying. He looked good in the 100 meters. Chinapu 
justifying his pedigree and coming through 21.78 to win the gold ahead of Jervis and Fret. Kadeem Chenapur, champion of the under 17 boys, 200 meters. Fret wins the bronze medal, 22.18. Thought for a second he'd gotten up to take silver. Samuel told you, fourth, 22.23. Yeah, told you Fret was desperate for a medal and the opportunity was there for him to grab it. Well, Oshane Jervis, and this young man wasn't even on the radar a year ago. And his coach, Michael McIntosh, decided to have him train through the summer. And here he is with a Karifta silver medal. Looking to upgrade that. And you see Chinapu there, ready, just taking the race out. Breaks the stagger early. Comes off the curve. Perhaps neck and neck with Sambo. And then just pulls away, coming down the home straight. Sambo left in the wake. Places fourth. But there comes young Fret. You already see Jervis struggling a little bit in the last few meters of the race. Basically just holding on and allowing momentum to carry him across the line. But it carries him enough for a silver medal. It was a dominant performance from Kadim Chenapu of Trinidad and Tobago. Positive 0 0.9 meters per second. The wind speed 21.78. Oshin Jervis of Jamaica courageously holding on for silver. 22.16 with Tiandre Fritt of the British Virgin Islands, 22-1-8. Zion Sambo of Curaçao is a double fourth place finisher at the Carifta Games. Mathlin second in the 400 meters, the 20 girls, 200 meters. This is a race that could go a long way in determining where the Austin Seeley Award goes in 2024. In fact, the next two races could go a long way in deciding that. Shona Miller Weebo is the game's record holder at 22.77, the Bahamian. There's the lineup. Two Bahamians to start. Lanes one and two near Richards and Naya Wright. The defending champion, Sania Frederick of Trinidad and Tobago, goes in lane three. We understand that Tiana Springer of Guyana has been withdrawn from this final as precaution. Sabrina Dockery, the 100 champion out of Jamaica, goes in five. Sole Frederick looked brilliant in qualifying. The twin sister of the defending champion, she's in six. Shanoya Douglas of Jamaica was impressive in qualifying too. She's run a win at 22.85 this season. And Sophia Swindell, already a sprint hurdles bronze medalist, is in lane number eight. Dockery 23.10 in qualifying. Douglas 23.16. Frederick 23.18. There's Sophia Swindell of the US Virgin Islands. She goes in lane number eight. Comes into this final with 24 seconds flat. Mm -hmm. In seven, Chenoya Douglas 23.16. Second fastest qualifier gets lane seven, a preferred lane. She's still smiling. In lane number six, Sade Fedrick, 23.18, a personal best to get here. She looked really good in her semi final. Then in five, the 100 champion, Sabrina Dockery, full started in the 200 meters last year at the Carifta Games. She is looking for redemption and the sprint double. No Tiana Springer, as I told you. She's been withdrawn for precautionary reasons. She was to be in for the Guyanese. And Sania Fedrick, the defending champion, goes in lane number three, looking to repeat and in lane number two Naya Wright of the Bahamas comes in with a 24 seconds flat clocking qualified as a non-automatic surprised they didn't move someone up to fill that uh, vacant spot well Not I think sure. the withdrawals probably came too late too for late. that so six for this final but it's a high quality six. Not sure how that will affect the defending champion. She'll have a vacant lane next to her. There's Dockery, the 100 champion. Ran a personal best 11.26 to win that. I think anyone who wants to win this has to be ahead of Douglas at 160. Away they go. Dockery flew out of the blocks. So too did Soleil Frederick. Sania Frederick is running brilliantly. The Jamaican Dockery coming forward now. Sania Frederick, the defending champion, is in front. Dockery starts to chase. Douglas is coming forward as well. Douglas, Sania Frederick, and Dockery. That's the way they finish. 
23 flat for Shanoya Douglas. She was always going to be the danger in the last 20 or 25 meters. That's where she poured forward. And Soleil Frederick could not hold her off, but she does have a silver medal, Soleil Frederick. As Shanoya Douglas celebrates gold, 23-0-3, that's a personal best for her. She has gone on the 23 before, but that was wind assisted at the Charybda Trials 2285. And tonight, she is number one in the Charybda region at half lap. Soleil Frederick watched her sister, Sania Frederick, win gold last year. She has silver this time around. Personal best for her as well, 23-0-7. Sabrina Dockery, the 100 champion, has to set up for the bronze here at 200 meters. But she too has put in a fine performance. That race was every bit as exciting as we expected it to be. Fantastic contest, uh, Springer. Not even really missing in this one. Because the two Jamaicans and the two Trinidadians gave us everything that we could have hoped for. 23-1-3 for Dunkery outside her personal best, which was set in qualifying at 23-10. The Frederick sisters. Well, it was all sunny last year. And it's Soleil this time. Soleil looked a lot sharper in qualifying, Sydney, and justified that, continued that fine form into the final. Ran a great curve. You see her there between the two Jamaicans. And one wonders if perhaps Sana not having that athlete right next to her could have done better on the curve. Coming through here, she does though have the advantage, but her sister and the Jamaican, Shanoya Douglas, the champion, all of these athletes will be back next year. I said that anyone who wanted to win had to be ahead of Shanoya Douglas with 40 or 30 to go they were but it didn't make a difference oh my word it's positive 3.0 so all those personal bests i was reeling off not personal bests at all wind assisted 2303 for douglas soleil frederick 2307 sabrina dockery 2313 sania frederick 2324 swindle in fifth 2391 near right 2425 the guyanese springer and the bohemian richards did not start now to the men. What I said, that what happened in the girls 200 meters could go a long way in deciding the Austin Seeley Award. In my head it has the boys 200 meters. The 100 champion, Javante Howard of the Cayman Islands is in the field. The record is out of sight, out of mind. 2004, 19.93, the one and only Usain St. Leobold. There is the lineup. Miles Grandjean of Haiti, Samuel Green, Grenada, Devontae Howell, Cayman Islands, Malachi Austin, Guyana, Aragorn Strika, Barbados, Johan Ramalda Smythe, Jamaica, Gary Card, Jamaica, and Keo Davis of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Strika, fastest in qualifying, but. Devonte Howell, 100 meter champion, had a scintillating run in the opening round. Didn't chase Straker in their semi final. We'll have to chase him here. The Caymanian, 10 1 5, to defend the 100 title. There is Gary Card of Jamaica, has run 20.79 this year. 21-1 to qualify for this final for the second at the Jamaican High School Championships to the Vincentian Kingston College athlete Amal Glasgow who is of course no longer a junior so ineligible to compete at the Carifta Games but Devontae Howell in lane number three became the ninth athlete to defend the under 20 boys 100 title but let's start with Keo Davis National under 20 record holder for the St. Vincent and the Grenadines has run 20.87. Gary Card of Jamaica goes in seven. His personal best is 20.79. His fresh didn't run the 4 by one relays for Jamaica last night. Johan Romalda Smythe was an anchor for the Jamaicans as they took silver behind Trinidad and Tobago. He wants an individual medal though. 
Aragon Strika has looked really good in qualifying. 20.86 in his semi-final. He's in terrific form. Malachi Austin, Guyana, won the 400 meters title. He's run a lot though, was part of their mixed relay team that won gold and the team that got them to the 4x4 final. The 100 champion, Devontae Howell, twice the 100 champion, ninth athlete in the history of the Carifta Games to defend the under-20 boys 100 title. Samuel Green of Grenada was in the 100 final. He returns to the 200 final. This man, Miles Sacha Grandjean, have had, has had quite a road to the final. He was left in the blocks in qualifying, put in another heat. He ran 21-27 to get into the semis. And here he is in the championship race. Devontae Howell can make a real push for the Austin Seeley Award with a big win here. So too could Malachi Austin. Very much the case. 46-35 to win the under 2400 meters Austin. He's run so much. Gary Card, the Jamaican, is a danger. Aragorn Straker, I thought, was so impressive through the first two rounds. Did not run the 100 to save himself for the 200. Will it pay off? Off they go. Gary Card got up quickly for the Jamaicans. Card has already taken a couple of meters out of Kia Davis of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Straker is running brilliantly. So is Devontae Howell. Straker, Howell, and Card. Three of them down the home stretch. Card is inching ahead. Straker is fighting back. Howell is back in third. Card beats the field. Oh, that's a stunning performance. 20.19 on the clock. That is sensational. We've got to get a reading on the wind. Oh my goodness me, what a performance. 20.60 is what it is officially now. If it is win legal, it is a lifetime best for the Jamaican. Aragon Straker's decision to forego the 100 and focus on the 200 proves to be the right one. He's the silver medalist. And the 100 champion, Devontae Howell of the Cayman Islands, I think has to settle for 200 bronze. There's your champion. Brilliant performance from him. Top 30 all time in the CAC region, if wind legal. The man from the University of Waterford, number 128, Aragon Straker, takes a second after pushing card just about all the way but it's all card came in as a favorite justifying his tag as the top man in this field 20.90 for howell to take the bronze medal here's another look at it great running there from streaker on the inside great running from card as well they looked good on the curve Streaker coming into the straight and he is neck and neck with Card at this moment but Card just holding his relaxation and able to allow the speed to express itself look at that face a little bit of tension there for Aragon Streaker but Card coming through easy relaxed powerful wind reading coming up momentarily Positive 1.8 meters per second. It is wind legal. Gary Card, just 16 years old, wins the under 20 boys 200 meters in a personal best 20.76. Aragon Straker runs the fourth fastest time by a Barbadian junior 20.76 for silver. Devontae Howell of the Cayman Islands takes bronze at 20.90. Kia Davis, the Vincentian, another young man who did not run the 100 to focus on the 200, finishes in fourth at 21.10. Romaldo Smythe of Jamaica, 21.27. Samuel Green in his second final, 21.41 for Grenada. Malachi Austin, the 400 champion, out of contention here, seventh in 21.56. And Miles Sacha Grandjean of Haiti, 21.99. Let's head to Gerard Maricili.